If My Uterus Were a Gun by Lauren Meyer, adopted and used by the Raging Grannies with author's permission. Have you heard the news of late? How Americans in state after state are launching big legislative fights against women's reproductive rights. But if my uterus were a gun, these guys would leave it alone, they'd say. Oh, go have fun, we won't quibble or moan. They hate all forms of regulation, except when it comes to procreation. Then they'll take away our choices, cause they can't hear women's voices. If my cervix were a rifle, they would keep their mouth shut. And maybe they would stifle saying that the pill's just for sluts. When I want to get my eggs lost, they tell me I should keep my legs crossed. Uh, with the steps these guys are taking, they all sound just like Toddy Ken. If my ovaries were semi-automatic weapons, all these laws we'd escape. Our birth control they step on while still talking about rape. And in the guise of weird night errandhood, they try to get rid of Planned Parenthood. Cause these men know better than I, oh, just ask the premier of PEI or New Brunswick or Yukon or Saskatchewan or Newfoundland or Labrador or Nova Scotia. If our vaginas were large capacity ammunition clips, life for women would be a breeze. There would be access to contraception to prevent unwanted pregnancies. To protect all fertilized eggs they've sworn. But the kids are on their own as soon as they're born. But all this debate would be done if my uterus were only a gun.